Thanks, Peter. If you saw Northport fire engine number six in your neighborhood tonight, that does not mean there was a fire. WVUA's Chelsea Barton rode around town in that engine tonight and joins us with all the details. Tamika, it's all a part of Fire Prevention Week. Northport Fire Rescue and Domino's Pizza have partnered together for the second time to keep residents in our area safe from residential fires. You're good. That meant free pizza for Casey Johnson and her family tonight, and here's why. When our guys take the pizza there, when they get to the house, they're going to check the smoke detectors. If the smoke detectors are, are working, then the pizza's free. If they don't have a working smoke detector, our guys are going to install one for them, so it's a win-win situation. Battalion Chief Jason Norris says he can't stress enough the importance of having a working smoke detector. You check your uh, smoke detectors monthly and change your batteries at least twice a year. And smoke detectors are important. They save lives. It's a proven fact. As a matter of fact, if you have a working smoke detector, you effectively cut your chances in half of dying in a residential fire. And we know here in Alabama, especially this year, we're already hovering around 70 fire deaths. And as a matter of fact, in the first 21 days of this year, we had 19 fire fatalities, and that's an unacceptable number. Matthew Young with Northport Dominoes is thrilled to be able to be a part of a company who supports causes like this. I'm all about being there for people and coming to their door, bringing a smile to their face. I've only been here for a very short time and they have shown me love, compassion. They've been so kind. I mean, and now I'm seeing this effort through the fire department. I love it. I'm so happy to be a part of it. I want it to last through my entire college experience and teach me life lessons along the road. During my ride along tonight, all of the smoke detectors were working. The partnership will continue tomorrow night beginning at 6 p.m. For WVA News, I'm Chelsea Barton.